Now that we've covered the components that make up a MapReduce job, let's examine how data flows through the MapReduce process. In this lesson, you will learn how MapReduce handles and processes data. You will also explore the mapping and reducing steps in more detail and expand on your vocabulary of the MapReduce data flow process. Understand that MapReduce has multiple learning curves. It does not take that much time to get started, but like all complicated technologies, it can take a lifetime to master. The inputs to a MapReduce job generally come from files that have been uploaded onto the HDFS from our Hadoop cluster. Files in the HDFS are evenly replicated across all data nodes. When running a MapReduce job, it may involve running mapping tasks on many of the data nodes in the Hadoop cluster. Each mapping task running in the tracker of each data node is identical. They are not assigned special tasks. In this way, each mapper is generic and can process any file. Each mapper takes the files to be mapped, saves them local, and processes them. After the mapping phase is completed, the mapped key value pairs must be exchanged between data nodes as to send to a single reducer. The tasks in reducing are allocated across to the same data nodes on the Hadoop cluster. This exchange is the only time data nodes communicate with each other. The mapper performs the first real step in a MapReduce job. The mapper starts with a key value pair. Mapper methods write the key value pair, then forwards them to the reducers. Mappers are single threaded, so each mapper runs in its own instance, known as a map task. Mappers do not share mapping tasks. This task encapsulation guarantees that mapping tasks are not affected by the unreliability of the mapping process. When mapping tasks are complete, the job is sent into the reducing phase. Individual mapping tasks do not communicate with each other, nor do they even know that each other exist. This is the same with reduced tasks. The client never passes data from one machine to another. All data movement is handled by the Hadoop framework through the job tracker on the name node. In this way, since Hadoop takes control of the entire process, the status of the job can be readily monitored. Hadoop is always monitoring the status of the cluster as it relates to running MapReduce jobs. Thus, it is able to route processing away from data nodes that have either become unreachable or troublesome. In the reduce phase, a single instance of each reducer is instantiated for each reduced task. The reduce phase occurs after the map phase of the MapReduce process. The key value pairs are assigned to a reducer. The reducer calls its reducer method, called reduce. This method receives a key and also a key for the iteration over the values that are associated with the key. These values that are associated with the key are returned in an undefined order by the iterator. Each reducer also receives an output collector and reporter object. These objects are used in the same way as they are in the map method.